Hi, this is the form we're going to be using for the next two or three videos. And as often happens when I start to do a tutorial, one control becomes complicated enough that I think I better just do a video on that control. And that actually has two advantages. Uh, for one thing, I don't overload your brain with a ton of information in one tutorial and you can't remember anything, which I've had my brain overloaded a few times. I know it's not a great experience. And the other thing is, if you go to the index and you look up, in this case, combo boxes, you can see a video just on combo boxes without a bunch of other information you're not looking for. So, that being said, what we want to focus on is this control here, the combo box and you can see I named it uh, CBX for combo box and Hungarian notation AM PM and what we basically want to do is just have an AM or a PM that you can select uh, in order to specify a time for the the main program we're writing so the first thing we want to do is go down to uh, items and specify the ellipse to pull up the collection and this is a pretty simple uh, input you just type in everything you want on separate lines so we say AM and then PM and say OK and now if we uh, save this and compile and run it you notice on the combo box we've got those selections and that's pretty good as far as it goes but there's a couple problems for one thing we don't want the, pr the user to be able to type in something else in the input box <laughs> like FR or something so uh, what we want to do is the equivalent of making this read only but that'd be too simple just to have a read-only attribute so what we've got to do is go to the drop-down style and make this drop-down list and then you notice the color changes to indicate that you can't really type anything in and the last thing we want to do is set an initial default value for the control and there's probably a number of ways you can do this but the way I like to to initialize things in a program is to double click on the form and then on the form load event go to uh, cbxampm dot selected index and set this equal to zero which would be the first item in the collection am and then if we uh, save this and compile and run it see AM appears in the box and you can select PM or go back to AM pretty much works exactly the way we wanted it to well this is just a short tutorial explaining drop down list type combo boxes that I think is pretty useful and pretty specific I hope you uh, enjoyed the tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.